business class for cheap. Having appeared on sale, the Korean sedan quickly began to gain popularity, helped by its spectacular appearance and excellent equipment. Let's see what its first owners burned on and what surprises should be expected from a car purchased on the secondary market. We admit that there are very few negative reviews about this car. A modern and high-quality third-generation business sedan with a spacious interior and a roomy 505-liter trunk impressed buyers with its quasi-premium habits. Decent dynamics, directional stability, obedience to the steering wheel, which was still rare for the Koreans at that time. It would seem that the car is quite capable of competing with the unsinkable competitors of Camry or Mondeo. But let's see what happened to her five years later. Yes, actually, nothing special. With the exception of a few unpleasant moments, which are not so difficult to avoid when buying a used car. In the Russian market, the car was equipped with two gasoline atmospheric fours with a volume of 2.0 and 2.4 liters. The first one, G4KD, was deformed to 150 forces for our tax realities. The second, G4KE, had a little more power, 180 horsepower. You can choose from them in the secondary market without fear. The second one is slightly more dynamic and with higher fuel consumption, especially in the city. It is better suited to move a 1.6-ton body on highways when overtaking. Both have in their ancestors reliable units from Mitsubishi with the timing chain drive, which received the family name Theta from the Koreans. Of the features of the Motor 2.0, the following can be distinguished. The absence of hydraulic lifters forces you to adjust the valve clearances every 90,000 kilometers diesel on the cold. The whistle of the bearing of the air conditioning compressor is often heard. The nozzles work with a characteristic chirping, and if vibrations are felt at low speeds, it's time to change the candles. As you can see, nothing criminal. The same can be said about the older brother, the 2.4 engine. He received a system for changing the valve timing on two shafts, there are still no hydraulic lifters, and regular extraneous sounds are noted among the problems. It is difficult to find a car with mechanics on the secondary. In this class it is customary to use an automatic machine. Moreover, there are no contraindications to the six-speed automatic transmission optima. Regular, once every 50 to 60,000 kilometers, replacement of the transmission fluid will extend the trouble-free life of the gearbox to 200 and even more than 1,000 kilometers. And besides this, it should be remembered that in the case of the two-liter modification of the optima, the automatic transmission makes the car more economical against the mechanics. There is no paradox here, it's just that cars with automatic transmission have an active ECO function. When activated, the car is set to minimum fuel consumption. Here with the suspension, everything is far from cloudless. Although it is tough, it copes well with joints and small pits in the asphalt. On the steering wheel, if everything is normal, signals from road defects should not come. However, it is better not to release a sedan on rural roads, a complete disappointment. In addition, in cold weather, the work of shock absorbers noticeably deteriorates. Their quality is not perfect. However, many people complain about knocking in the A-pillars in the summer. The weak point is the front wheel bearings, which have to be changed after 20,000 kilometers. Other suspension parts cannot be called durable. Knocking in the steering is also not uncommon. And even with a long movement in a straight line, many note the sticking of the steering wheel when it is adjusted. The thing is harmless, but unpleasant. Usually, Moving on to the cabin, we start talking about quickly rubbing seats, steering wheel trim, crickets, and similar troubles. The Optima isn't the epitome of quality, and many of its interior materials leave a lot to be desired over time. However, there are really no mass complaints about the above-mentioned nuances on the forms. Salon, of course, creaks. The sound insulation leaves much to be desired, but there is no particular crime. Owners complain more about the low carrying capacity and low vehicle clearance. When fully loaded, you need to be extremely careful when passing speed bumps. People also note annoying body vibrations on machines where mechanical crankcase protection is installed, which resonates on engine parts. Many were not delighted with the paintwork of the body. Therefore, you need to carefully choose a car in the secondary market. Rust begins to appear on the leading edge of the roof and the A-pillars. Not all is well at the rear where the lights rub the paint on the rear fenders, which are starting to rust. As you understand, serious tricks should not be expected from Optima. The machine as a whole is of good quality and is able to satisfy more than one owner. In addition, current maintenance costs, if we are not talking about especially neglected cases,
will not be a heavy burden on the wallet. Judge for yourself, an air filter costs 500 rubles, an oil filter, 200, a set of front brake pads, 2,500 rubles, change brake discs, surcharge 6,000 rubles, clutch assembly, 15,000 rubles, and a set of candles will cost only 2,000. As they say, in a divine way. And one last point. With cars whose five-year warranty is about to end, it is not worth contacting official dealerships for diagnostics. Faults accidentally may not be found. Suspension. Even on a fresh Optima, the suspension can rattle, and the repairs missed by the previous owner can result in a fair amount. For example, replacing the front struts and bushings of the front and rear anti-roll bars, the guarantee for them is only 30,000 kilometers, the ODC will cost about 25,000 rubles. Transmission. In automatic transmissions of cars with a 2-liter engine, lows are sometimes observed during movement, a short first, a push, a second with a delay and a third with a push. Servicemen consider their cause to be glitches of the firmware. But in fact, flashing does not always help, and then, alas, you have to completely change the automatic transmission. Engine. For a 2-liter engine, various hissing sounds are not uncommon, the source of which is the fuel pump. Here you should carefully monitor the condition of the catalyst. It is important to have time to replace or cut it out in time, otherwise its dust will get into the cylinders, where scuffing is formed. Typically, the service life of the catalyst is about 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Body. The main complaint about the body is the roof that is rusting from chips, as well as a thin layer of varnish, which is why even with the contactless wash, after a year, the paint can become covered with a mesh. Complain about very expensive hardware. The plastic lining in the trunk bursts in the cold. Many complaints about protruding trunk lid hinges. Electrician. Finding systemic and massive electrical problems is not so easy. Some of the owners complain about the rear parking sensors. They do not always work. Others do not know how to turn off the interfering blind spot monitoring system. Still others are bothered by the electric seat. But headlights regularly burn out and sweat almost everyone. 